Hello everyone. In this quick After Effects tutorial, we are making these simple shapes orbit around each other. Maybe it's a planet system, or maybe it's an atom, or maybe it's just some circles. I don't really know. This is a hotly requested tutorial coming off of last week's basic patterns. This is one of the things we patterned, and people wanted to know, how do you make that thing? Well, this is how. And also, check it out, I do honor requests, so remember that everyone. We're going to make use of a little classic After Effects 2.5D trickery, and we should be out of here in about five minutes. So start the clock. I'm Evan Abrams, and this is a little After Effects tutorial, Simple Orbiting Shapes. We are in After Effects. Let's make a new composition. We're gonna make a square composition. None of this is important. Hit OK. Let's start by making the nucleus, the middle, the planet, the bright glowing center that all the pretty things rotate around. And you know, we're gonna make it blue just so it's easy to see. Twirl into the ellipse, the ellipse path, gonna make the size. 300. That's fine. That's not important. What is important is that you make it 3D. So it is now 3D and we call this middle. Okay, we're going to duplicate the middle and this is going to be the orbiter. And the orbiter, let's make it a different color. Let's make it, I don't know, maybe it's going to be pink, purple, green, minty green. Wonderful. Change the layer color to yellow, I guess, so we can tell the two apart. Twirl in, change the size. Size down, maybe a hundred. Sure. And just move it out. Grab it and move it away. So this is how far away it will orbit. We don't really need that transparency grid. So here we go. We got a thing and a thing that's gonna orbit around it. Let's do it. Rather than doing anything to this orbiter, I'm gonna make a new null object. I'm gonna call this the uh, spinner. Make it 3D and parent the orbiter to the spinner. And then the spinner, toggle open its rotation, hitting R, put a keyframe on the Y rotation, move ahead and just set this to be a one. So it's gone a full revolution around, whoa! As you can see, it is going behind the planet. That's perfect. And it comes around the other side. So two things to change. The first, let's make this repeat forever by holding down Alt, clicking over here on the Y rotation, clicking the stopwatch and going L-O-O-P, capital O-U-T, and some parentheses. And you can write uh, cycle in here if you want, but it's not totally necessary. It assumes you want it to cycle. And around it goes, woo, now it's infinitely going around. However, this is not right, right? You don't want a pancake going around. We want a nice spherical moon. We want to pretend this is a sphere. Come on now. We are going to make a new camera. Make a new camera. It's a 3D scene. You should have a camera. And let's go with the 50 millimeter preset. Just a warning, this is going to work nicer in, you know, 50, 80, 130, 200. And so with the orbiter selected, we're going to go layer, transform, auto orient, meaning always look at something. We could make it orient along path, but we want it to orient towards the camera. Hit OK. Just like that, it's a circle, and it's a circle that constantly goes around and around. So that's the trick. That's the little trick. You just make it orient towards the camera, the thing we are, because that's what we're looking through. We're looking through the active camera. If you look through something else, you can see it is just constantly pointing at the camera, no matter where it goes. But since we look through the active camera, it looks like it's constantly a sphere, and that's pretty good. If you want to make the spinner spin this in a more interesting way, then you just need to adjust the orientation. So we will adjust that orientation, you know, change the Z orientation a little bit like this and the Y a little bit like so. And nice. So there you go. We've got this thing spinning around, going around the planet. If you want to make more, just duplicate, you know, separate them, mess with their properties a little bit. Maybe you want the uh, orientation to be a little bit different. Maybe you want this to be closer, changing the position like so. So it's very close to the planet. You know, you can even just scale this down and make it smaller. Whee! Just like that. You can affect the timing. Just drag out these keyframes. If you want this to loop, if you want these things to sort of loop around each other, you know, for, for infinite looping, then you probably want to offset them a little bit so it's not robotic. And one final thing, the finalist thing, we probably want those little trails that we had uh, in the example. If you want a little trail on this thing, we're just going to go here to the effects and presets, call out echo, get that echo, put that onto the layer. As you can see, it's starting to make a little bit of a tail. Let's uh, dial this in, get a little bit closer, 
make some more of them, like a whole mess of these, sweet. And we just change it from add to composite in front. Let's play that back. Wow, look at that. It's like a big space worm or something. That's uh, how I did it. It was that easy. Call it time. If you had any trouble with this, please let me know in the comments and I'll try to get you through. Uh, if you'd like to get your hands on the project file for this, head on over to evanabrams.com or use the links in the description in the cards. Get your hands on these things. Uh, all the project files are available at pay what you'd like pricing. All the donations from that keep the channel going. It is much appreciated. And if this is the sort of thing you like watching, if you like learning about After Effects, motion graphics, please subscribe to the channel, turn on notifications, and you will find out when new content comes up here. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to suggest a topic, let me know in the comments or tweet at me at EC Abrams on Twitter. And if you subscribe to the channel, then I'll see you around the internet. Thanks again and have a great day.